Quick Mitsubishi, my name is Nathan and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2015 Subaru BRZ. Now in my opinion this is the better counterpart to the 86 but that's just personal preference and a slightly biased opinion because I am a Subaru driver but what we'll do is run through the condition of the vehicle as well as some of the features that you get in this particular car. Now as you can see you've got that beautiful WRC blue or that uh, 86 blue it does have those nice white racing stripes down the middle it's not going to add any extra horsepower or anything but it does give a very nice aesthetic and it definitely looks better than your standard um, just a flat colored 86. Now Subaru badging in the middle, stripes do go around it, quite nicely designed. Um, front end condition seems to present quite well, can't see anything noticeable. I mean if I want to be super super picky there's probably a little bit of tape missing in um, the stripe but again it depends on how picky you want to be about these things. There are uh, daytime running lamps and indicators all and fog lamps sorry fitted at the bottom get a beautiful projector globe and you've also got those daytime running lamps which actually run around the headlight pretty consistent with Subaru's design um, and also those headlight washers so they're going to keep your headlights nice and clean now as we come across the side front end like I said front end condition seems to be pretty good there seems to be maybe some light scratching just on the edge here very very minimal like small hairline scratches but can't really notice it unless you're very very picky take a look at that first alloy now you will notice that as we go through the vehicle there are a few little added goodies put onto the vehicle it does have a few little STI touch-ups but it's not um, an STI BRZ it's just got a few little STI things such as the STI rims so you got those nice multi-spoke designs, they are the same rims that are used on the Lavorg. Um, obviously a slightly smaller rim size but still a good design, BBS like style and they do also come with the SDI hubcaps, probably just an add-on from the previous owner and standard brakes. Now the rims do present pretty well, um, you can see that there is a bit of peel of the black paint on the corner there so it's not actually damaged the rim, there's no scratching but it looks like the paint is simply peeling. Panning across the side there is this cool little vent here again not actually functional just there to add a little bit of character to the car there is also this sti side skirt um, or the lip of the side skirt along the bottom protects the actual um, side skirt and the paint but also gives it that slightly more sporty appearance car does seem to also be tinted which is a good uh, plus we always recommend tinting your vehicles and considering how big the glass is you're going to be exposed to a lot of uv so it's good to see that previous owner has done that now i will note that on the tint um, there does seem to be a scratch on the tint, I don't know how well the camera will capture it, probably a bit more prominent on the inside, um, but there is a mark right there on the tinting. Not really going to be able to do it justice through the camera because we're looking at glass. But having a look inside the car now, these do come with these suede leather seats. Seats do present in reasonable condition. There does seem to be some kind of damage down the bottom here. Um, don't know if it's a burn or not quite sure exactly what that is, but there is that mark there. But other than that, it does seem to be quite present quite well. A little bit more etching just around on the suede at the base. And they do also come with the genuine BRZ or 86, sorry, BRZ carpet mats, and they also present in pretty good nick. Um, car also has a scuff plate on that inner door trim, considering how low it is and hard it is to get in and out of a car like this. It's good to have that because you're going to protect the paintwork when you're hopping in and out. And the door card also presents in very good condition. Now closing this up and having a look at that second alloy, that rim also presents in pretty good nick. Um, it's got that same little uh, paint peeling on the very edges, probably has been rubbed up against something but the rim itself is smooth, doesn't seem damaged so I'm going to assume it's just a bit of peel. Now on the door, there are a few scratches here just behind the driver's door. One across there, another one across there, a little bit on the corner here, maybe the person had a ring and used to grab the door but other than that it's not very noticeable. Fuel cap is on the driver's side. And as we come across to the tailgate, you've got this cool little boot lip, um, rear diffuser down the bottom, the dual tip exhaust, BRZ and Subaru badging at the back. And there is also a reverse camera in this vehicle located right there. And you can see, again, quite nicely presented in the back. Now, this is an STI touch-up, this particular boot lip, not just your ordinary um, standard boot lip. But unlocking the boot, if I can. There you go. Um, having a look inside now. The actual condition of the boot seems to be quite good, doesn't seem to be any damage on marks or stains and there is that full size spare wheel located in um, the boot which is a good thing because and it doesn't look like it's been used either. Um, I mean you can always remove that for that weight reduction considering how small and light the car is, it's going to um, contribute to the speed or how fast this car is going to move. Rear indicators and brake lights and coming across the side there is another scratch here just above the wheel. Another minor hairline one across that rear bar there, but very minimal. And that third rim actually presents pretty well. You can see there's, again, no damage, but that same peeling at the very edges. Um, rim itself is in good nick, and side skirts on this also seem quite good. N another little bit of scratching just on the edging of the door in the same place. 
Um, and yeah, you've got a pretty nice car. That These fourth and final rims, again, still got that same kind of peel on the, I don't know why it's peeling, but the, the rim itself is not damaged. There's no scratching or it doesn't seem uh, to have any signs of gutter rash. So you've got a pretty nice BRZ here, beautiful blue color, white stripes, STI touch-ups. So what we're gonna do is pop the hood and have a look inside. Take a look inside the engine bay of the BRZ. Now you can see it's pretty nicely laid out engine bay. You've got that iconic boxer motor in there. Um, there are strut braces across there. Now it's not a full strut brace mounting, but there is that support in the front of the car, which is gonna help maneuver the vehicle, give it that great control. And it is what this car is known for. It's, it's great control and design. Now what we have here is a four cylinder, two liter petrol motor. Car is fitted with a six speed automatic gearbox. So the more gears means better torque, better fuel efficiency, and um, better dry, smoother driving. Now this car has a five star ANCAP rating with seven airbags, which is massive. It's mostly a two seater with four seats. Um, it does, this motor itself produces 147 kilowatts with 205 newton meters of torque. So again, lots of torque and power for the size of the car. It is a 50 liter capacity petrol fuel tank and does run on your regular, on your fuel. It does have a combined fuel consumption of about 7.1 liters per hundred, an average fuel distance of about 704 kilometers off a full tank, all dependent on the kind of driving you're doing. Taking a look inside the BRZ, as you can see, now this also has a few little extra touch-ups and a few little things that the previous owner has added to the vehicle. So, got this really nice carbon fiber plates all through the car. Um, it, again, that has been added on as it's not factory with these carbon fiber plates, I don't believe. Um, so these have been added on and they seem to be in pretty good nick. In the door trims as well, there is a Subaru all-wheel drive plate um, or a little plaque. Um, that also looks quite good. It's finished off in a nice reddy pinky color like the SDI badging. There is also a surround around the um, around each one of your vents which have that same color and also um, surrounds around um, your aircon controls. So a few little extra things uh, but starting on the driver's side door do get fully automatic window control so both driver and passenger have full automatic windows. Central locking, window lock control and a little button to actually fold in your side mirrors if you wanted to and that's located right next to your side mirror toggles. Now on the right hand side of the dash there is a boot release button and a headlight height adjuster. Yeah, headlight height adjuster, possibly the bright, sorry, brightness for the illumination of the cluster. Um, on the right side of the dash there's a little auto trip button that is for your trip A, trip B on your odometer. And on the right hand stock is your left and right indicator, fog lamp controls and headlight controls. And these cars actually run a automatic headlight system. Just put it in auto and the car's gonna sense when it needs to turn them on. On the left hand side is your wipers and washers, um, wipers and washers system. And steering wheel is a pretty comfortable steering wheel. There is, there does seem to be a steering wheel um, cover over it. We'll possibly remove that, so don't worry too much about that. Um, but the steering wheel does present quite well. It shows that the previous owner cared about the steering wheel and didn't want it to fade or crack or, you know, all those bad things that can happen. Um, does have paddle shifts, now we'll come to that in a minute. And your cruise control is located down the bottom here um, on a little paddle like all uh, Toyota. So that is a Toyota influence in these vehicles. Down the bottom there is a little bit of uh, fading or you know a wear and tear marks just on the bottom of that wheel. But other than that, pretty good. Coming over to the entertainment system now, there is a nice Eclipse touchscreen head unit. You can't really see it that clearly at the moment, possibly um, just from the lighting, but it does have inbuilt navigation, so you can see the maps are open there if you can see it. Um, and if I go to audio, that's gonna open up your audio settings. You've got AM, FM radio, CD, Bluetooth, and uh, phone connect down the bottom, and AV in info. So a bit of um, stuff on the head unit. You can turn it off and on. Um, if you wanted to, but I'll go back up. Yep, so AM, FM, radio, and Bluetooth connectivity. Pretty cool setup, and pressing that is gonna actually, you can open the screen, and that is where your CD input is with an SD card, but that SD card is actually there for your map, so you don't wanna remove that. Um, so you got this nice carbon fiber plating on the top here, or it's like a carbon fiber vinyl over the top. Underneath is a carbon fiber plate with, a, with your hazards, little SDI emblem, which has been added there that is not uh, from the factory, and a, time, a clock, obviously, and your dual zone climate control, so driver and passenger have their own settings. You can kind of twist it and adjust it. Uh, fr front dimister mode settings, and just an auto button for your air con. Underneath, you've got some cool little like flick switches. So that is for your rear dimister. You just flick that down. AC, interior circulation, dual, or to sync up your vents, and you can turn it off with that button as well. There's another little Subaru sticker here, a lot of stickers in the car. A bit of rubber plastic at the bottom, rubber and plastic at the bottom of that to stop anything from sliding around. Blank spot and your engine stop start button which is in that beautiful STI red color. Now the gear shifter is quite a nice gear shifter. If I bring that into reverse, um, the reverse camera will come up on the screen there. Again, don't know how clear it is, but 
can see the reverse camera quite clearly. If I bring this car down into drive and actually flick it to the right, that's gonna engage the sports shift system. So which means I can use this gears here to go up and down, or I can use the paddles which are located behind the steering wheel. So that is part of the sports shift system. Being a sporty car, um, it is good to have that feature. Or you can just leave it in drive and drive as per normal. Behind that, there is a stability control button, your sport and snow controls, and a VSC sport button, which is gonna turn off your traction control and things like that. Uh, there is heated seats in the car, so a high heat and a low heat, but both heated. There, again, there's a nice, nice carbon fiber plate with the SDI embroidery. A cool little storage compartment here, which you can actually remove or take out, so you can kind of keep something in there, take it out, whatever you want to do. Storage behind here, and this little console bit can move either way, so you can keep it wherever you want to. There is a cup holder in there, a bit of storage, and a deeper storage compartment below that as well. And there is also a USB cable running through this grommet and a 12 volt input for any extra charging that you might be doing in the car. Now I get the camera person to pan around the interior just to show you the condition. The passenger seat also seems to have a mark on it, um, just over there. Uh, but the back rests are in pretty good nick. And the back seats, although probably not gonna be used at all unless you got a car seat or a little kid or one passenger that sits across the back, um, the seats are in good nick. I mean, they're not damaged. There's no real burn marks or stains on those, which is a good sign. Roof lining is pretty clean, apart from like a few little kind of runs probably from something. But other than that, guys, it's, it's, it's quite a good car. It has a nice little touch up and details on it. So what we're gonna do now is jump outside and wrap up the video. To watch the walk around video on this 2015 Subaru BRZ. It is a beautiful car. It does have a few little minor marks here and there. Nothing too significant. You've got nice little add-ons like your STI little gear and the decals on the interior. It is quite a nice car, but if you do have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. Now, just before I go, this car actually qualifies for our premium mechanical protection plan. Now, what that will offer you is five years additional protection on 181 electrical and mechanical components, and it will also come with the added benefit of 10 years platinum roadside assistance nationwide. So there is great value in this. Make sure you ask us about this. In addition to that, I would highly recommend you talk to us about our paint protection so, uh, pr product that we have here. What that will offer you is a warranty on this beautiful blue paintwork. It's gonna make it a lot easier for you to clean and maintain. It's gonna protect it from all those harsh environmental factors that really get in there, contaminate and damage paint. And on a beautiful car like this, why would you want that to happen? So make sure you ask us about that because that is gonna give you a warranty on this vehicle. Now, these two things are at an additional cost. However, if you're using our in-house finance, would love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario who showed just some minimal diesel effector repayments. Now lastly, but most importantly, make sure you jump on a Google, search up Beric Mitsubishi and see what people have to say about us. With over 1,100 reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, gives you the assurance as a buyer that you're dealing with the right people and the right kind of business for a good quality vehicle. Now as I mentioned before, if you did have any additional questions, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Nathan and I thank you so much for watching.